So in every situation, there's ways to build wealth. Okay, so in home ownership, when I think about down payment, and this is something I've touched on before, which do I have to put down 20%? Uh, and my response to that is no, right? But what about if you chose not to put down 20% because you're gonna use mortgage insurance to build wealth? Is that even possible? You're gonna use mortgage insurance, which people think you shouldn't have in the first place, to build wealth? Well, let me show you what that looks like because I think it's really important to understand the value of lower down payment. Now, before I get into the numbers, I wanna make sure you understand that these are just really basic numbers. I wanna show you an idea so that you can decide whether this fits for your financial situation because situations change based on age, goals, and financial advice. So make sure that every decision you're doing fits within those financial goals and dreams. And if you do that, you can't help but to be successful. So to make this as simple as I possibly can, I've built out two different versions of somebody buying a home. I used the $850,000 purchase price. Okay, pretty straightforward here in San Diego. Then I built it out with 20% down and 10% down, okay? I'm gonna take out all the closing costs, all the other stuff around doing this loan because the only thing I want to show you is the difference between putting 20% down and 10%. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like to put the extra 10% down into some type of investment vessel and remember, it's important. You have to talk to your financial planner, decide what that is. I don't do any of that. But most people don't look at that extra money and how valuable it could be in 30 years because they're just thinking about their monthly payment today. And I wanna show you what it looks like. This very first version or green version is our 20% down option. This next version down is our 10% down option. Now to make it really simple, I left interest rates the same, property taxes, everything I left exactly the same. What you will notice is the payments are different and that's for two reasons. First, you're putting down less money, which means you're gonna have to pay a higher mortgage payment. But second, you also have mortgage insurance on this second version. Now, let's talk mortgage insurance for a second. What a lot of people don't realize is that you can have mortgage insurance released at two years, the minimum time frame is two years, and you either have to have 20% equity if you pay it down, or you have to have 25% if you use any appreciation. Most of our clients use appreciation, so that goal is 25% but at two years, you can get rid of it for a nominal fee, and then it's gone forever. So what you've essentially done is used mortgage insurance to keep extra liquidity to invest it in the right place, which becomes extremely important if you look at it in 30 years, which is what I wanna show you next. So let's look at the number of $85,000, because that's what we're talking about, and that is it. So. If you look at 30 years and we just compound it out, you're gonna pay $615,000 in interest over a 30 year period. In this other version, you pay $692,000 in interest, which yes, it definitely is higher. But look what you gain by paying that little bit of extra interest. If I take this $85,000, I put it in account that gets a rate of return of around 7%, that $85,000 is worth $685,000 for your future. Now, growing wealth in home ownership, it's a leveraged asset. So the focus behind it is putting more money down doesn't help you. In this situation, if you gain appreciation or lose appreciation, it simply just doesn't matter what you put for down payment. What does matter is if you take that extra money and you put it in the right place. Now I did this over 15 years because I wanna show you an example of, let's say for example, you wanted to take this extra money and put it in a college fund and you wanna compound it out over 15 years. So I wanna show you that example. In a 15 year period, you're gonna pay $426,000 in interest compared to $479,000 in interest if you only put 10% down because you're gonna to have to pay more interest. Now that's a $53,000 difference, but look at the difference in down payment. So I took this $85,000, I invested it at a 7% rate of return. It's worth $240,000 in the future. When you think about buying a home and you think about the differences between 20 and 10% down, you need to really be thinking strategy. A lot of people think you have to put 20% down and you absolutely do not have to do that. But if you get serious about it and you understand how to build wealth and leverage, then putting 10% down could be your very best option. Just understand how best to grow wealth for you, your financial goals, and really what it means to your family. And if you do that, you can't do anything but be successful in home ownership. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, let us know what you think because it is something a little different 
that most people just don't think of home ownership this way or how valuable mortgage insurance can be.